Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kayla and I maintain a backyard garden at my home in North Texas. Today is February 15th and it's a very pretty day outside. Um, so today I'm just going to show you how things in the garden are doing. I have a couple things I'm going to plant outside and then a couple of seeds that I'm going to start inside as well. So stay tuned and I'll show you through the garden. It's hard to tell because they're still so small, um, but all of the onions are doing really well. I'm going to water them with some um, water mixed with fish emulsion, which is a high nitrogen fertilizer, which will hopefully give them a little bit of a boost. Um, but yeah, these are looking really great, just still pretty small. All of these flower bulbs are coming in really nicely. You can see I have one daffodil down here that's starting to bloom, so that's really exciting. Um, I forget which kind of hyacinths I had here in this middle section, but those are definitely slower to come up than the other ones. Um, but overall, everything is slowly making its way, and I'm really excited for this to be filled with flowers. The garlic is looking a little questionable at the moment. Um, these two pots on the ends are the best looking um, and they had the least amount of damage um, during the freeze that we had a little while ago. These two middle pots, the, um, the tops definitely died off. I think they're gonna produce more greens in just like a little while. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I've never had garlic dye in a freeze before, so um, yeah, just kind of waiting and seeing what happens with those. I, I think they'll put out new growth in like early March or so, but we will keep an eye on it and see. This I accidentally killed. My two bags of wildflowers are still looking really good, and then um, all of the peas that I planted, the snap peas, are starting to come in, so that is exciting. I have this empty edge along the right side of my flower bed, um, and so I decided I think I'm going to plant some radishes here, because um, radishes are pretty quick to grow. I think both of the varieties that I'm planting today are 30-day um, radishes, so they should be in and out pretty quick. Um, the goal is for them to be out by the time that I replace everything in this bed with my spring vegetables. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, I could plant some back here, but I think I'm going to just leave this space open and then my peas are behind that. So flowers, peas, and radishes here. Last thing I'm going to plant outside today are some nasturtiums. I've got two varieties and I think I'm going to do um, three of each. I'm determined to get some nasturtiums to grow this year and this is the correct time to plant them. So um, yeah, I'm going to put them in this bed here which is in front of my um, cross vine which is still doing good. It looks, you know, a little purpley at the moment because it's just you know, that's how it looks in the winter time, but I expect that to spring back in the spring. Um, so yeah, three 
of this Peach Melba on this side and then three of this Bloody Mary mix on the right side. The last thing I'm going to do today is start some more seeds, which y'all have seen a million times, so I'm just going to go through uh, the varieties that I'm going to plant today. Um, all of them are flowers except for, um, these are some Thai chilies that my dad had. I don't know where he got them or, or really what they are, but we're going <laughs> to we're gonna take some seeds and see if we can get them to germinate. Um, and then for the flowers, I'm going to start some Gumfrina, um, so the Mandarin Orange and Strawberry Fields. So those will be really pretty. Um, I have one type of sunflower. I'm not doing as many sunflowers just because they take up a lot of space in the garden, but I'm gonna start this Rouge Royale color. I think that'll be really pretty. You can see I'm gonna have a lot of reds and peaches and that kind of color scheme going on. Um, amaranth is new for me. I haven't tried planting it before, um, but I'm gonna try this Hot Biscuits and Love Lies Bleeding. Um, varieties. They both look really cool. I think they'd look cool in some flower arrangements, so we're gonna give those a try. Um, for zinnias, I'm starting four kinds of zinnias. Uh, first one is the Isabellina. 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 Oh, Isabellina. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Um, canary bird. Giant salmon rose. And then uh, this Persian carpet blend. So those will be really pretty. I love zinnias. Um, and then lastly, the two kinds of nasturtiums that I already sowed outside. I'm going to start some inside just in case the ones outside don't do well for any reason. Again, I said I'm determined to get those to work this year. Uh, so we're going to start some of those as well. And that's about it.